Welcome back to the battlefield. As always, we're going to jump right in and see what we can conquer today. So first I need to figure out exactly where I left off in the last episode. Alright, so we were just about to declare war on these guys. I think I just ended my diplomacy with them. So I suspect I can just end a couple of turns here real quick. And get started on conquest. I should probably pull the fleet out of here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just wander over here for a bit. I probably will need this army to help out down here. Again, I don't really dare um, patrol because I don't want to get declared. I don't want them to declare That's war and then ambush me. Ready for orders. On the move. I think that's all I need to do this turn. Oh, look at these guys! All right, that should be it. Hellas is starting to lose a little bit of public order. Ah, they'll be all right. Loyalty looks okay, but it's been better. I really, really need to do something about building my influence, but we'll worry about that later for now. We can just end the turn. Grumpy's guard is ready to get back into the front line. I wonder if I should pick up some artillery. Because I've only got one siege army right now. And what I can do is I... Yeah, okay. I've got a plan for how I want to do this. Unfortunately, I just messed up the movement. Um, let's see... So I'm going to need you guys to come over here and give Grumpy's guard the archers. Ready for orders. Ready for battle. What? Make haste, men. You have further orders. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So basically what I want to do is turn this into a siege army. I'll put probably all of these archers in. The Cretan archers have really short range, but they still should be pretty good. So I'll swap the Peltests into an army like this. Alright, so here's what we can do. 
Drop off the slingers there. Come over here and pick up the peltists. On the move. Advance at your command. Ready for order. And if this is going to be a siege army, it probably doesn't need so much cavalry. At your command. March. At so let's see, command. six units of missiles. We can take out two units of cavalry. Anyway, I can figure out how to balance that next turn when we've got some more movement. For now... I think I'm going to need more armies down this direction. These guys would have enough movement to attack during good weather conditions, so that's good to know. I'm actually going to send you over to Rome. Or Italy, rather. Athens, Athens, Athens. What do we do with you? I am honored to receive you, and look forward to your erudite arguments and witty quips. No. Your terms are reasonable as they if leave If I can just mouth. get them to join a war, maybe that'll help. Simple prudence means that I must refuse your offer. I'd While rather not pay them for sound, it, but whatever. The substance of your offer pay them to go in against Carthage, because I'm confident Carthage will last agree. a little bit longer. Oh, duh, your I did the payment would the wrong be well way. Spent by my people, join war against Carthage. And be offer payment. Yeah, that's more like what I was expecting. Is there a chance I can get a military alliance while doing this? Jesus Christ, these guys do not want a military alliance with me. Can I get them to join any more wars? Alright, well, let's do that for now. I would like to get trade with these guys. Speak quickly and well. But they hate Speak me pretty bad, slowly, so I doubt I that'll happen. To the dogs. Oh. Alright, why not? This Just is provides a little bit of people. extra security All in the that's north. Left is to drink until we roll beneath the benchy. Well met, friend. Sit, and let your words... Alright, that should be all for diplomacy. My armies have all moved how they need to. Fleet can just hang out over there. Will you not give our people a little go? There is much merit in a treaty between Definitely us. don't need a military alliance with you. some more research done. Hmm. 
Do you know what? Uh, it'll take us 13 turns. I was going to say that could be really useful for our upcoming siege battles. But in the meantime, I'd rather just get the movement, I think. Alright, now you guys pop back over here. Commander. You guys go back up to the front. Ready for battle. Now let's see, we're swapping out. I probably shouldn't do all six archers in one army, but I'm gonna do all six archers in one army. Go ahead and swap out the thorax cav and keep the companion cav. I might also drop some of these spears. and then pick up the more elite spears over here. That's the other thing I needed to do. Yeah, let's do a couple of those units of spears. So that'll leave Grumpy's Guard with a general two cav, six swords, two spears. I'll be picking up a bunch of ballista. Okay, let's see how that looks. Realistically, we just need some more infantry in here, so just get some more thorax swords. Ready for orders. Grumpy's guard probably needs a little bit more cavalry. This isn't Grumpy's guard. This is just some random army. Go ahead and get them a couple more units of thorax cav. get them the Pergamine Thorax Spears. And then these two armies will be ready to go. Let's see, do I like this? It's a lot of bows and really not a lot of infantry. Commander. At your command. At your command. Hmm. Ready for battle. Yeah, we'll keep it like that for now. Commander. Okay, everything up here is fine. We can just sit there and wait for those things to develop. I'm not going to improve this any further because we just don't have enough food to do that. Okay, now, Rome, what is your diplomatic situation? They have no military or defensive allies, so declaring war on them won't drag anyone else in. They have heaps of enemies. So it's just about the only major faction that likes Rome is Egypt. I don't want to break off trade just yet, because that's almost an extra thousand gold per turn. I give you welcome. Let Zeus and all the gods smile upon... Whatever, that should be just about all for this turn. I don't think there's anything else that I desperately need to get done. Go ahead and let that dude get married. Give him some extra influence per turn. Give her some extra influence. Give him some extra influence. 16 year old with a mistress. Yikes. Um, loyalty looks good. I would kind of like to get these characters up to higher levels. I think I'll wait for this guy to die off before I get him married, unless she can marry him. Heck yes, that's perfect. Alright. I have
haven't done anything with taxes, so we can leave that. Um, better replenishment, and... The ammo isn't really going to help too much. Yeah, let's just maximize the replenishment. Will you not give our people a little... What's gonna happen to this campaign when it comes time to control Athens? I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous about that situation. Happy with that army layout. Commander. Ready for I'm kind of not. It's just not enough infantry. And if they if these guys get attacked in the field, they're gonna be in serious trouble. So I do need Lost. to get rid of some of these archers. But I don't oh you know what? What if I just swap them for these units? Nah. We'll bring these archers up somewhere else and swap them out for some decent infantry somewhere. Maybe get rid of these Rhodian slingers. Alright. What has Rome been up to? One of the scariest things about Rome is just how ridiculously strong their garrisons are. How much longer until I can declare war on these guys without diplomatic penalty? You have the ear of my people. Do not waste words. We are worth your... Okay, I don't think I can actually do that yet, because I thought it was supposed to be six turns from the time you end all treaties with them. We hunger for battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and sit still for another turn and just kind of keep waiting things out. No one else leveled up. Right. I 
think this turn, this upcoming turn, is where we'll declare war. But that also kind of depends on where their fleet is. Perhaps no, thank you. I am not doing that right now. I also might want to try and confederate Athens one last time before declaring war, because I think Athens is kind of friendly with these guys. Agriculture on that just about every time. Oh, that is such bad timing. Such bad timing. Have a quick read through this for any of you guys who are interested in the history of this year. Bit of a long one. All right, what kind of alliance did Athens and Egypt get? A defensive alliance. Greetings, friend, greetings. Will you have wine, fine olives, or agreeable talk? I am sorry. Why not? Why don't you want a military alliance? Okay, this campaign proposal. went from potentially being close to being finished already to we might actually have to conquer most of the world. Just from Athens and Egypt becoming friends like that. Alright, where's this fleet? Still right next to me. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, thank goodness for that, because that is not what I meant to do. I did not mean to end the turn. I meant to declare war. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. Uh, yeah, I'll call Egypt in. Why not? I was going to say, I didn't think they would break that war. Back right, now of course their navy runs away because they have no chance of surviving. I'm not going to fight this, it sucks to lose the manpower, but naval battles are just so janky in this game that I'm not going to bother. Wow, we lost all of our sword ships, that's unfortunate. Okay, that should be good enough, we'll just let you guys go back into port and start recruiting again. Over here. Oh, I've done it again. I've started a war in winter. Okay, let's see. I don't want to attack them with this army in case they fall back. Because if they fall back... Oh, I can't reach that city anyway. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I really should have thought more about it being winter. But I didn't, so here we are. Let's go ahead and just move in here and raid. Move up here and fortify. And then down here. Neither of these armies can really get close enough. I mean, I could get close enough to reinforce, but they, they would just run away. So let's just go ahead and let Funky's Fieldmen handle this. Ready for victory!
to Is that so bad? Well, when that's the only thing I want to do. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm, I'm like sitting here like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't have the materials to cook anything fancy other than spaghetti, which I'm planning on having for dinner. And, like, I don't have anything to drink. I'm going to make some cocoa. Mm -hmm. That's something I could make. Uh, yeah, I just want to snack and munch. Well, that's neither good for me nor productive. And I don't really know what I'm feeling like doing this entire. I don't really feel like painting or drawing. Most of my games are a little intense, so I'm like... Mm. It's just one of them days. Yeah. Alright, so... One disadvantage of bringing Peltas instead of archers with a pike army is that you have to just throw your infantry in. You can't really sit back and shoot the enemy. I'm going with a little bit of a smaller line, keeping some units in reserve, because I have so many units available to flank with that. I need to make sure my front line holds long enough to survive. Is this one that was on top of the fridge yours? Because if my front line buckles before I can actually work the flanks, then obviously the flanks become useless. Okay, it looks like they're going to make us go uphill to them. Okay, maybe not. That's good. I wonder if I could even draw them down to me if I were to just move over this way, because I'd rather not fight on this hill. Alright, now let's see. These are javelinmen, so they can do a lot of damage right off the bat. can't remember, I didn't even look to see if they had any cavalry. And if they do, I'm not going to be able to see it because of the trees. Okay, what I might do here is go ahead and actually move the Peltas forward and have them kind of take some of the initial fire. Just because they have shields. So I'm hoping they should be able to trade reasonably well. Let's move the cavalry around and see if we can just get a better idea of exactly where their lines end. Okay, I should keep the infantry moving forward in the meantime. Okay, while they're moving would actually be a really good time to get in on them. Just because if their javelin mo units are moving, they can't throw their stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure the pikes are running now. We just need to be going quickly. Okay, a lot of our stuff is hitting the trees, but they don't have shields and we do, so we should be able to trade reasonably well here.
Paltus, just keep doing your thing. Pikeman, put your pikes down. Okay, Peltus, back off. Start working the flanks. I did tell my pikes to do their thing right. Okay, good. Let's see if we can start an engagement out there. Okay, these guys need to come up. get a charge in there because they're made their melee infantry instead of spears let's go ahead and give a give them a charge here and stay out of phalanx for now okay peltus you need to start Actually, just hit that unit. How are these guys doing? They're doing okay. This pike unit is getting absolutely smashed. Okay, let's pull out of that and give him another charge. General, get up here. You should have been closer to the front a long time ago. But, you know, that's just another error on my part. You guys come back over here, get another charge. You guys try and pull out of that, you guys try and pull out of that, you guys try and get some javelins into that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Ready your weapons. Missiles awaiting targets. Heavy cavalry, ready and willing. The game of cavalry. Heavy force Okay. Starting to work around the flanks over here. Okay, our pikes on this side are seriously damaged. How are we looking out here? You guys are probably not doing too great. Let's bring some pikes around. These peltas still have ammo somehow. Okay, none of their units are real close to breaking just yet. Let's see if we can change that over here. Definitely need to get the cab out of there before they get rear charged too heavily. Okay, we're going in against a melee unit, but we're holding our ground with the Peltas. These guys are doing great. Peltos, don't, don't be like that, don't chase. Okay, lots and lots of damage on this pike unit. I should have reinforced them a long time ago. Okay, keep collapsing the flank. My headset's about to die. Guys, go ahead and pull back just a little bit over here. Oop, that pike unit got surrounded and I didn't catch it. Okay, we're gonna need the general over there to keep them in the fight. We've also got Peltus who can help out. Act as stand in infantry. Okay, up here, we don't want to just get stuck, we want to actually have a quality engagement for our guys. Royal Peltasts! Royal Peltasts! 
You guys go ahead and chase down that unit. You guys keep wrapping around. Okay, these Peltas are going to go down pretty quick. Okay, General wasn't actually needed on the other side. Alright, now let's just run them down. Looks like we took care of most of that unit. It wasn't pretty, we took pretty heavy casualties in our pike line. But they held their ground, did what needed to be done. Let's go ahead and just fast forward that. I'm gonna get my headset plugged in too. Well, I think what did most of the damage was their javelins on the right side. I could be mistaken. But I mean, look at these peltas go. Good stuff. The pikes aren't there so much to get kills as they are to hold the enemy in place. It looks like their javelins are what really did in our pikes. Because their melee infantry shouldn't have really been able to do too much. victory and I also accidentally turned down my headset so let's get that back up to the appropriate volume all right the army got basically destroyed so we did a good job of running them down I'm just gonna go ahead and take the money finish the job Can we make it back to replenish? Yes, we can. Alright, extra attack for pike and hoplites and the campaign map movement range. Extra defense for pike and hoplites, yes please. Over here we're just going to sit still and wait for another turn. You guys do need to start moving forward. Okay, Grumpy's guard is going to handle the siege down here. And neither of these armies are equipped to support Grumpy's Guard. But then again, neither is this army. I'll probably blend this army with this army just because I'm not really a huge fan of how either of them are built right now. And now that we can actually get our good sword units, I want to... Actually, it's not going to be enough food, so we're at plus one. We're going to be losing an extra two and gaining an extra six. So yeah, we can definitely do that here. 
Yeah, I might actually end up getting rid of a lot of these, but we'll see. Doesn't need to happen right now. In the meantime, they only have one army left, no fleets left, and one city left, so this should go pretty quick. I could attack them right now, but I just don't want them to... I don't want to push them back here. If they're going to go back there, that's fine, but I don't want to push them to it. If anything, I would almost like these guys to try and attack this army up here. But, anyway. Go through and check who leveled up. And then end the turn. I need to go look and see what's going on over here as well. That might just be my client state moving through. Consult your ancestors. Peace treaty and make client. No, thank you. I'd rather own the province. All right, good. They're attacking us. And we've got pikes. This is basically exactly the situation I would want. They don't have a ton of missile units, thank goodness, but they do have a decent amount of javelins. My plan here is going to be using those light Galatian swords to kind of soak up that initial wave of javelins from all of these mercenaries over here. And then moving the pikes in. I'm not too bothered about keeping any of these units alive because none of them are particularly important to me. We'll use the dogs to flank. Unfortunately, there's no way of knowing where they're going to attack from. I would kind of guess that it would be over here. But... I don't know. Let's see, I probably won't really use these traps because they didn't have much cavalry. And if I use these, it's just going to slow me down. I mean, I could put them all the way out there, I guess. Um, let's see, let's actually, let's do this, let's create an additional, what, does that rock not actually exist? Do these rocks exist? These rocks exist. Alright, so we can go over to here. Let's create... Kind of a secondary area to defend. Because I'm pretty sure they can't move anyone across this little bump. And we can put the... Wait, am I allowed to deploy out here? What the... Is this broken? I feel like something's wrong. Or maybe I just don't fight enough defensive fort battles. <laughs> Holy cow, these are big old units. Alright, so let's go ahead and just put these guys in like that. Keep the slightly heavier guys on the other side. The dogs, depending on where they, where the enemy spawns, I'll definitely want the dogs out there quickly. I better face these guys this direction in case I need them to run away from an army over here or something. Okay, and then the pikes, let's just go two by two for each entrance. But obviously not sit in the entrance just yet. And slingers, you can all just hang out over here, stay on guard mode, fire at will. 
general, I'll actually keep you out here as well. And do you know what? I'm I'm not gonna light any of these on fire, so there's no point in having them. Good. The enemy is coming in from the side I wanted them to. They will probably send some units around the sides. Let's pull some of the pikes back, actually. Move the slingers up into this space. Dogs, you can come out here. Ready for battle. Keep you guys out in the open. General! By your command. Do you know what? Let's see if I can come over here. General! This way I've just got some freedom with how I can deploy my troops. Because the cavalry obviously would be essentially useless if I left them inside the fortifications. A lot of cavalry, so I don't want them to be useless. Warriors eager for blood. Now, can our slingers actually attack over the top of this? Orders understood. We will see. Those peltas are gonna hurt. I bet these units just get completely routed, like, instantly. They have basically no armor, their shields aren't very big. Maybe it was a bad idea to put them out front, but... Oh well. Let's try and focus on their archers first, just to keep them from using all of their ammo. We're not going to have effective fire on these first several volleys because they've got infantry moving through. One of our units it's unfortunate that we used our javelins on the uh, local citizens, but what can you do? I'd rather have all of them use their javelins. Slingers! Okay, we are starting to cut through that first unit. Let's start moving the cavalry around. I'm definitely thinking it was a good idea to put the barricades out front like this, just to slow them down even more. Yeah, you can see those peltas are just tearing these guys apart. Okay, it's definitely time to move some pikes up here, though. I need to start looking at getting rid of those peltists. Okay, that's one unit of archers gone. Hoping these guys would stay in it a little bit longer. But we all knew they weren't going to last that long. 
Okay, you guys hit the Peltist. Slingers, you can actually come out here now. So we're going to try and use the cavalry to get rid of these Peltists and other missile troops. Okay, our men are fleeing, but they did what they needed to do. Let's make sure the rest of the pikes are close enough to actually reinforce. And now, let the grind fest continue. Okay, you guys, I didn't actually want you to get that involved. We'll give a charge order here just to see if we can activate skirmish mode for those guys and keep them from them from shooting. Okay, we do need to get rid of several units still. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, we just charged right into a phalanx, that's not good. Let's see how quickly we can cut through those guys. Our pikes are pretty healthy going into the engagement, so they should do alright. Go ahead and leave these guys in there. You guys do not fire at will. Get up here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You guys do not fire at will. Get up here. Bring the dogs around so they're ready to go. Okay, that's good enough. Now I need to run down as many of them as I can. guys get ready to go. Slingers, you may begin firing into that blob. And just go to until you are out of ammo. You guys, uh, I'd rather surround this unit before throwing javelins at it. I'd like to catch some of these phalanx units out in the open. Just because that way we can rear charge them into oblivion. Keep the Tarantine cap, or the Thorax Thoreos cap. Whatever they are, they're Thoreos Cav. We'll keep them back just a little bit. For now. The Slingers are starting to finish up with their ammo. Okay, start bringing the dogs around a little bit further. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Slingers are out of ammo. Go ahead and come back over here. Pikemen are still doing great. No need to make any changes there. Okay, we've smashed those couple of units. Let's get the dogs through here and let the dogs go in. taking a little bit of friendly fire from the towers because it's shooting stupid targets, but that's okay. Go ahead 
go ahead and just let the cavalry sit back in reserve and we'll use the infantry on these flanks. I can even use the cavalry to just kind of body block a little bit. Okay, it should be just about over now, and then it's just a matter of grinding our way through this blob. Okay, let's bring the cavalry. Ooh, they're gonna get around the sides. I forgot about that. I forgot they could retreat this way. Let's maybe just move a unit of pikes over here. The battle is turning in our favor. Let these guys keep doing their thing. Just leave that cavalry out in the open on the side. Move a second unit of pikes over here just for good measure. Okay, once we get out and around there with the pike unit. Attack orders while there's that many guys still inside here. Okay, this unit's mostly in position. Go ahead and drop the pikes and just hold them in place. This should hopefully help prevent most of them from escaping that direction. And now it's just a kill house. Send the cavalry in, just to make sure they're getting killed. Our general is under attack. Didn't realize a unit snuck out through there. Go ahead and let the dogs wrap the up some of these units as well. Dead. I was going to say the majority of them should be in here, and we've trapped them pretty well between all of our pikes and axes and things. So in an effort to stop getting shot by the arrow towers, I think I'll just end the battle there. Yeah, attacking pikes when they're in a fortified position is not easy. Pretty much all of the casualties we took were on those two light units that I used to just absorb enemy ammo. Our units that ran around the flanks and were catching retreating units got a ton of kills. I was kind of surprised at how quickly they all routed, though. But I guess the slingers were firing into them pretty heavily for a while. Of course, then again, the slingers didn't exactly get... Well, no, the slingers got quite a few kills. Journey completed. Alright, now... I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we will get over here and have the Siege of Pella. Should be a very, very quick, easy siege because that garrison is kind of garbage. We'll also capture this settlement, and that should be all that we need to do. So, 
I'll go ahead and end it here, and we'll see you guys in the next one.